Hi, this video will demonstrate how to create crosstabs in the Simmons Insights database. Simmons Insights currently requires each user to provide some personal information such as name and email before entering the database. On the landing page, start with selecting a study. You will see your current study on the upper right hand side as well. Click on study to show the full list. You can use the general national adult study, Simmons Connect, which is the national study plus additional technology and media usage data, or Simmons Local if you just need information for Portland, Oregon. Keep in mind that some variables in a national study are not in the local study. Let's use the default most recent national study. While you can create a crosstab for just one target, the power of crosstabs is that it allows you to compare the demographic and psychographic characteristics of multiple targets. For example, people that prefer brand A versus brand B, those that participate in particular leisure activities, those with different attitudes about various topics, and so on. In this example, we'll compare hiking enthusiasts and those that list bird watching as a hobby. I'll start with entering the keyword hiking. Red is a question asked in the survey, and blue is one of the answers survey participants can choose from. Since I'm studying avid backpackers slash hikers, I'll pick the answer every chance I get. These are not casual or occasional hikers, but rather enthusiasts. Click on the column icon to add the target. Now on the left side menu, you can see it's been added under columns. In cross tabs, columns are your targets, while rows are where you add the variables, things you want to know about your targets. We'll do the same with birdwatching. Now both targets have been added. Next step, we'll add variables, things that we want to learn about the targets. You can add all kinds of demographic and psychographic variables. For this example, I will look at simply age distribution and their attitudes about cars. To add variables, you can search just like before. However, I'll show you a shortcut for some of the commonly used variables. Click All, then click Definitions. The green folders include predefined variable combinations created by the company. For example, if I want to know if there are any generation differences, I will click on Generations. Then select the main categories defined by Simmons. I will select all of them, then click Rows to add them to rows. In addition to keyword search, you can also browse. I will click on All again and click on Simmons Data, then Lifestyle Statements. These are commonly called psychographics, attitude statements about various topics. Click open Attitude slash Opinions about Automobiles. People can answer from Strongly Agree to Strongly Disagree. I will choose Any Agree, which includes those that agree a little and those that agree a lot. The statements then pop up. I'll choose the statement, a sport utility vehicle matches my active lifestyle, any agree. Click Rows to add to rows. Now review the grid on the left side menu to make sure you have the correct items in columns and rows. To make changes, you can clear all to remove all or click on one of them and use the pencil icon to edit or click on the trash can icon to delete that one item. If everything looks good, click on the arrow to run the search. A table will be generated with all kinds of numbers. The default view is a bit hard to navigate, so I prefer to download it and view it in Excel. Click Export, then Export Excel. You can also change the chart type from the default Private Eye View to Crosstab View. Let's take a look at the Excel and see what the numbers mean. As you can see, the targets, hiking enthusiasts, and bird watchers are in the columns, while the variables, what we want to know about them, are in the rows. 
The most important numbers here are the vertical percentage, the horizontal percentage, and the index. For example, the vertical percentage 57.4% means 57.4% of the people that answer they go hiking, backpacking every chance they get are millennials. On the other hand, the horizontal percentage 7.3% means 7.3% of millennials surveyed answered they go backpacking slash hiking every chance they get. Index is calculated by dividing the vertical percentage of the target 57.4% by the total vertical percentage of that row 32.3% then multiplied by 100 which is 178. What does the index mean? It depicts the likelihood of that variable for this particular target. 100 is general population. So anything over 100 is more likely while anything under is less likely. Usually 20 over or 20 under is considered significant. In this case, millennials as a whole are 78%, that is 178 minus 100, more likely to go backpacking slash hiking every chance they get. Just the opposite, people over 55 are much more likely to be bird watchers. Both targets are more likely than the general population to agree that an SUV matches their lifestyle, but it's more significant in the hiking enthusiast group. In short, Crosstabs is an excellent tool to identify your current target market and brainstorm how best to reach them. You can also discover untapped markets, that is, targets with a low index but probably desirable in other ways. In addition to exporting results to Excel, you can also export the Crosstab. That is, the search itself in the form of an SPC file. In the future, if you ever need to do the same search again or make modifications to an existing search, you can import the SPC file without having to construct the crosstabs from scratch. To upload a saved search, click Open, then click Import SPC. I hope this video helps. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask us. Thanks for watching.